At this point in time, I think you already know what an MCP server is and how it works. It's that magical gateway that lets your favorite AI assistant simply tap into real-time data and external APIs. And there is a whole world of useful MCP servers out there for everything, from getting the latest weather updates to controlling smart home devices and much more. But until now, only Cloud had the keys to unlock the power of MCP servers. That was until today. Introducing MCP Super Assistant, the Chrome extension that lets any AI assistant like ChatGPT, Grok, Gemini, and others join the MCP server party. This tool works as a Chrome extension, letting you use all your favorite MCP servers on your preferred AI assistant like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, Gemini, DeepSeek, and others. The installation is very easy. Simply install the MCP Super Assistant extension on your browser, like you would with any other extension. It's available on the Chrome Web Store. You can also check out the documentation on the official website, where you'll find an installation guide with more details. After successfully installing the extension, the next step is to create an MCP configuration JSON file. You can create this file in any directory you prefer. I will create it in the downloads directory for this demonstration, calling it mcpconfig.json. We will edit this file and paste in the template provided in the documentation. You can also use existing configuration files from other MCP clients like Cloud or others. For this demonstration, I will configure a well-known MCP server, the file system, which allows us to interact with files and directories. Don't forget to save the configuration file. The next step is to ensure that Node.js and MPX are installed. MPX usually comes bundled with Node.js. Open your terminal and run the command provided in the documentation, making sure to declare the path to the configuration file you just created at the end of the command. Proceed with the installation. Once it's ready, you'll see a message saying that clients should connect to a specific address. Now, if you open ChatGPT or any other AI assistant, you'll see a new button called MCP. This button lets you connect to the MCP server and build the available tools. Toggle the MCP switch to ON, which will reveal the sidebar. In the sidebar, check the server connection status. It should display connected if everything is working properly. If your MCP config file is set up correctly, you'll see all the tools from all the MCP servers you added. You can also try this on Gemini. Notice that it displays the same MCP button and works just like it does in ChatGPT. If we look at Grok, we'll see the same behavior as well. For the final part, I'll demonstrate how the file system MCP server works. I recommend activating the Reason option in ChatGPT first. After that, click the MCP button again. It will generate some instructions that we need to attach to the chat. For example, I will ask it to create a new folder on the D drive called My Logs. The magic will start. Sometimes we'll need to run these tasks manually. Just click on the Run button, then click on Insert and send the request again. Now let's check if the folder called My Logs was created successfully. As you can see, it was created perfectly. 